Martin and Zach at the movies. Martin and Zach at the movies. It's Martin and Zach at the movies. So, Martin and Zach at the movies. Hi, I'm Martin. Movies. I'm Martin, Zach, and this is Martin and Zach at the movies. Uh, apparently, we have a theme song now. It's a good theme song. Are you gonna remember that for the next video? Mm, yes. All right then. I uh, can't wait. Really. All right. Ooh. So I got some uh, cherry Dr Pepper here. Yeah. So we're going to review some movies. Now, I know I know what you're thinking. Episode 4 should be the second half of the top 10 list, but no. unfortunately it is not. These are the movies that we saw in 2011. 2011 is where it started. Where me and this guy where next to me... Where it all began. It's true. Where me and this guy next to me went and saw our first movies together. Normally we were with another guy named AJ, and he was... I, I don't know why I'm... He's like, in Africa. Yeah, yeah, he's in Uganda right now, uh, spreading the good word to those who need it. Yeah. So um, when we get to the Who first movie, we, children? yeah, when we get to the first movie that started all this, I'll make a note of it. But uh, to start off with, we kind of rank these in the order we liked them, so sort, was, of. sort of. So I kind of want to switch two of them around, but I, I decided to go this order instead. That's okay. So we're gonna start off with Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Now, uh, the title itself, come on now. I like Most the title. People. I like the title. Okay, but when you know what the title stands for, it becomes lame. Man. So, the title are the four people that this do Three and then the spy. Oh, yeah, because I forgot the spy was separate. Okay, yeah. so it's the three guys that this guy is trying to get. And literally, the code names they give them are Tinker, Taylor, Soldier. And, and then, then there are two others that I don't remember what their code name is. Ones. Um, I liked this movie. It was interesting. I love Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman is amazing. It was so slow. Uh, he thought it was slow, which I... I it was slow. I, I agree. It was slow at points. It was a British um, movie. It was, it was a British movie. It's got Tom Hardy in it. Again. Again, Tom Hardy. Um, I liked it. I found it amusing. We saw it in the budgets. Most of these we saw in the budgets. Um, I think one we didn't. I'm going to go with one. I'm yeah, going to go with, with one, one until proven. Otherwise, nice. we're going with one. It's a pretty decent movie. I suggest renting it once. I mean, it's not like I ran out and bought it. It's not like he's ever going to own it or watch it again, ever again. Nope. For all intents and purposes, it wasn't bad. If you want to see an interesting Gary Oldman movie, if you want to see a spy film, go see Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Go rent it. I'm sure at this point it's like a dollar to rent. Yeah. But I, I, see, I highly suggest going to see it. Or watching it. He, on the other hand... It's one of the movies that we disagree on. It is. It's one of those very few movies we disagree one on. One of the few. One of the few. One of the few. Movies. I think it's super boring, and he liked it. I liked it. Not enough to own it, but, you know, I liked it. All right, so next up for 2011... <sighs> this will be a second. Uh, yeah. Hi. Next up for 2011 is Moneyball. Moneyball. Now, this one won some awards, or was at least nominated for a bunch of awards. Yeah. I liked it. I found it boring. <laughs> See, it's like the total opposite. It is. Those are the two I would switch. <laughs> anyway, I liked it because I thought it was a good story. Plus, again, Jonah Hill's in it. Which is funny because he's not really funny in this No, movie. he isn't. He's a more serious person. Yeah. But I like I liked the, the movie. It was nice. I didn't know much about the, the records that the A's did until watching this movie. I knew a little bit. Um, I didn't know much about it. Like I said, it was interesting. It wasn't it wasn't all that captivating. I'm never going to watch this movie again. Probably never. I've watched it since then. Yeah? Because was it on a cable? Couple, a couple times. Yeah? Cable? Yeah. yeah. Cable. He's watching on cable. I don't know. I, it was slow. Brad Pitt was good. I understand why Brad Pitt got nominated. Um, it was a good, good actors. I mean, I can't really pinpoint what I didn't like about this movie. I just... It was just slow. It was the same thing that for for me for Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. It was, it was just, slow and unengaging. Slow to, yeah, it was slow to you. Yeah, it was slow. It, it was unengaging to me. So I mean, this is this is where we differ. Um, and once again, we're talking about movies we watched almost a year almost ago. a year ago. Yeah. So hopefully we can keep good things going. But you know, and we can at least remember. We can at least remember. Um, those are the two I have the hardest remembering yeah. stuff about. So next up, fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. I watched this. The, uh, a month or so ago. This is generally an amusing movie. Yeah. It was good. It kept its pacing up. Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen were just really good. I just think there wasn't enough comedy in it. No, there wasn't. Like, it, it was more of a, it was more of a drama story, like, mm -hmm. with some comedy in it. And yeah. That's where, and that's where I got disappointed, because... It looked like a comedy in the it trailers. Looked like, yeah, it looked like it was gonna be a funny movie, and then it's just, like... It's this, a cancer movie. Yeah. Which is 
Not bad. No, it's, it's not just, a bad can. It's one it's of the just best. Not, it's just not what I would. Yeah, think. if I were, I haven't watched this one since we saw it. If I would rewatch it, I'd probably get a different opinion of it just because then I knew it was a cancer movie going in. And Seth Rogen actually plays himself. <laughs> He's playing Seth Rogen. It's the easiest playing, part for him. Yeah, playing Seth Rogen in this movie because it actually happened to his friend. He was the one that was doing it. Joseph Gordon Levitt plays the director. Yeah. That's the friend that it happened to is the director of this movie. Yeah. But no, overall, it's, it's a good movie. It is funny. When it tries to be funny, it is actually funny. Yeah. It's well acted. Really go see this one. This is a firm. You should really go see this yeah. one. Um, the only reason it got put third on this list of eight um, is because the next movie was just too too ridiculous, and we had too much fun seeing it. Uh, man, um, that was the best time I think we've ever had watching a movie. We're not there yet. We're still on 50-50. Yeah. Um, but no, I, 50-50 is good. Rent it. Watch it. It is. It's a good cancer movie. If you want a good cry... Um, we don't cry, you want to but curl up and have if a good you want to have a good cry, watch Fifty Fifty. 50 How do you feel about it? Good cry movie? If you cried at movies, would this be a good cry movie? Probably. All right. At some point. I don't cry at At movies. some point during this movie, it would probably be a cry movie. Yeah, it'd probably be. Yeah. So anyway. I was looking at my bald anyway. spot in my beard. And it's like right there. I know, it's like right in the middle. Anyway, uh, right. 50 50 50 50 go check it out. See it. Next up, we got In Time, this movie. Let me tell you. Um, hands down, the most ridiculous movie we've seen. It is. Um, I'm going to start off by very simply saying it's not a bad movie. No, it's not. It's a bad. not a bad movie for, ha- for starring Justin Timberlake. Um, it's not a bad movie. It's got a ridiculous concept that gets annoying after a while. Yeah. Uh, I feel as if they didn't need to reference it as much as they No. Did. Like... Time is money. Yes, yeah. I understand time is money. They referenced it so many times. They did. They referenced that, That's like the first half of the movie, is them referencing that time equals money. And after a while, I, I actually screamed out in the budget we saw it at, going, we get it, time equals money, we understand, can we move on? Yeah. And people laughed, because I said it way louder than I planned on. Yeah. Also, another funny part is, while we were watching this movie, we, okay, so we sat up front, in front of everybody else, mm-hmm. so we could talk during the movie and not care, because it's people true. were behind us. But this guy that worked there took his, I'm assuming, girlfriend um, yeah. on a date, sat like two, three rows behind us, and was sitting there watching the movie with her. And like yeah. she, would, they were laughing at stuff we were talking, we were, we were like making comments to. And then all of a sudden, like halfway through the movie, dude got up and went back to work. So I'm gonna, say, yeah, it's true that that was just a weird moment. That was a weird moment. Like, how so, do you explain that to your girlfriend? Just like, um. I know I'm having a great time. I love you, but uh, I need to get back to work. <laughs> All right. So, uh, three points I want to make about this movie. First, man, I don't think I could sleep with a nightlight on my wrist. I wouldn't be that like bad. Glowing. Like, there was just a, I'd be able to. It was the annoying green of it. Yeah. Like, it could have been any other color, but that was an annoying green. They just sit there, and it lit up like there was a good amount of light and the dark around that thing going tick, and it was making noise. It wasn't like noise in their head. You could tell it legitimately went ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. As seconds ticked away, that sucked. That would that would suck. That's that, my first. That part. would be the part that would keep me up. Not not the light. It would be the boom, boom, yeah. Boom, boom. Point number two. Um, generally, me and Zach are pretty observant people in movies. We figure out plots really fast. Fighting in this movie. The term fighting is used a lot in this movie. And when both me and Zach here heard it, we were thinking fighting, as in boxing, you know, fighting. Um, what it turns out is, a good example is, shake my hand. <laughs> and we're fighting. Oh, no, I'm losing. Now I'm winning. No, I'm losing. Dying. Not dying. Actually, no. Not dying. 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 Not, not dying. 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 Okay. And that's fighting. And let me tell you, when that actually happened in the movie, both me and him went, no way. No. That, that is not. Yeah, we called shenanigans right there. And although when you after you know that that's fighting, you figure out the the, the movie it gets way funnier. It does. It gets way funnier when they start talking about he died fighting or we're gonna fight. It's like you're gonna arm you sound, wrestle. You sound wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna arm wrestle. That's what you're doing. That's not fighting. That's arm wrestling. Yeah. Um, and our biggest problem with this movie overall is it seems like the writer got lazy with the last half hour of it. It's like, good, decent movie, good plot, it builds nicely, and then you hit that last half hour, where it just all of a sudden is... It died. It died. All, of a, all of a sudden, it's like, end of movie, end of movie. Yeah, and all of a sudden, the characters just quickly get taken care of. It's, It was annoying. It was hilarious to watch, but it was annoying. Chili and Murphy's good, and I that, is just the, I that was... 
That was just the most annoying part of this entire thing, is what happens to Chile. Spoiler, his character dies because he runs out of time, which he had more of than Justin Timberlake and uh, Amanda Seyfried's yeah. characters did. And he's the one that dies from running out of time, which is They explained. were both running down the street at the same yeah. pace, and apparently he died first, and they were able to, not only after... Spoilers. Not only after... He died. Look at him dying and say, oh man, he died. But then again, they had enough time to, after doing that, run to his car. Get his birdie. Per get, him. get his get his pretty um, And then Justin Timberlake had enough time to run, to not only do that, and then run back to Amanda Seifert. Seifert's character and give her time. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you actually get this on any disc format, there are deleted scenes. And the deleted scenes explain, yeah. explain this. But this is not explained in the movie. There's sometimes... Sometimes you need to leave scenes in. Like, you cut them for pacing. You cut them for all these reasons. But come on. The scene that explains how these two characters survive longer than that character, that's a necessity. That is not something you go, eh, we can do without it. I hope they did it on purpose. I really, That would be amazing. But in time, go check it out. If you want a good laugh, seriously go watch that movie. That's, that's why he still... That's why he owns it. I own it just so I can laugh at it. It's good time. It's fun. It is. All right. Next up is Puss in Boots. That poster is awesome. That is. That's an amazing poster. <laughs> this is the only kids movie we have on this list. It's the only one we saw. Actually, animated kids yeah. movie on this list that we saw. Last year. This is... This movie's hilarious. We laughed our butts off. So, uh, yeah. Good movie. Um, I, gotta throw movie. This, I gotta throw this in here. Just because okay. it's funny. The names? Y- yeah. One one, right, one name, one yeah, specifically. Go ahead. So in the credits, we were watching this movie, and we're like, this is a really good movie, this is great. And then we were watching the credits, which we usually don't actually pay attention to the credits until after we watch this movie. Mm-hmm. Now we pay attention to yeah. the credits all the time. But we didn't pay attention to the credits, but we were sitting there watching the credits, and all of a sudden there was a name that popped up. And it was no parentheses whatsoever. This was the full name that was in the credits. And legal name. And legal name. Phil Captain... 3D McNally. No, no, like, this is his nickname. Nothing. That's his name. Phil Captain 3D McNally. And that is his, that is his legal name. He legally had it changed to Phil Captain 3D McNally. It's awesome. I love Phil Captain 3D McNally. It's an amazing name. I feel uh, more people, more people should be willing to. Should name their children that. I feel (laughs) more people should take responsibility for their job and say, I am the captain. (laughs) I am the best at this. I am the leader. That's cool. Anyway, Puss in Boots is hilarious. Yeah, um, it's a good movie. Let me tell you, we laughed. We we went there out of boredom to go see it, and we laughed at so many different moments. And it was just, it was a good, it was a good, funny movie. The whole milk was the one that got me. <laughs> at the end, when they're walking by, he's like, he only drinks, he only milk. drinks whole milk. I I loved his boots are made of the finest currently flour. <laughs> All amazing. It is a great movie. If you want to watch something with your kids that they'll laugh at and you'll laugh at, and it's still actually fairly clean, yeah. go watch Puss in Boots. It is... It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Moving on. Moving on to Real Steel. This is the one that started it all. This is the one that we went, okay, Martin's having a bad day. Oh, I was having a bad week. Yeah. Martin's Martin's not feeling good. We need to get his mind off of all this stuff, so we're going to go see a movie, and this just happened to be out at yep. the time. And, and this so is- we're like... Hugh Jackman's in it. Yeah, real still like Hugh Jackman. It's a great movie. It's got that good, good Rocky feel to it. Yeah. Like overall, it looks like Rocky with robots, but it's Rock 'em Sock 'em robots. Rock 'em Sock 'em. Oh, that was the one thing that I wanted, I was, call that Rock I wanted it to be called because not only is that like everybody knows what Rock 'em Sock 'em robots is. Mm-hmm. Well, for the most part, for the most part. And I think if you could, like, it would have been a good strategy. Because you could have named it Rock'em Sock'em Robots. You wouldn't have to change anything about the movie. Nothing. In fact, and you the movie could, references Rock'em Sock'em Robots multiple times. And you could have resold all Rock'em Sock'em Robots merchandise. Oh, yeah. It would have been great. But I guess Real Steel is okay. It's a good movie. It's, it is a great movie. It is. It's probably out of this list. I mean, there's still two movies left. One of them is a iffy on the list because technically it didn't yeah. it was watched before and it has happened that Zach and me were both there at the same time yeah. um, but this one was the start it was really good um, if you haven't already seen it what is wrong with you pause the video go rent it watch it this is a crime movie 
<laughs> this is Zach's crime movie. No, it's not my crime. It's not my crime movie, but this is a crime movie. Like, if you cry at emotional scenes in movies, you'll cry at this movie. Let me tell I you, you, you walk into a movie about robots, and then you find out it's about a guy and his kid. You're like, uh, and then the robots keep beating the crap out of each other. And then like, you're okay, okay with, with it. it. Yeah. Like, I'm okay with this emotional turn. Because I still get to see robots beating us. It is. Color. It's it's a good movie. It's a great movie. I can't wait for the sequel. I know yeah. they're making one. Yeah. Um, Real Steel 2, I can't wait for it. I don't know when it's coming out. I but don't know what they're going to do with it, though. Probably Rocky 2. <laughs> but no, it is. We've, de- we've been down this road before, people. Mm-hmm. The they Rocky still made, they, they still made They still made more anyway. Yeah. So it's... Really it's it's a good movie. Go see it. Really, seriously. Go see this seriously. one if you haven't. I'm surprised if you haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But go see it. Go see sure. Real Steel. All right. So before we get to the kind of movie, we got one left uh, that we definitely saw as part of all this. And this yeah. one has a little story behind it. Sort of. Tower Heist. Oh, hey. By, yeah. far, by far the best out of all of these. We laughed our butts off. The story is like this. <laughs> we went, we're going to see movies on a regular basis on Tuesdays at this point. Yeah. We decided, me, him, and AJ... We're going to go see Tower Heist. This is right before the end of last year. So, And we actually ended up seeing this movie in January. Mm-hmm. We took the two of us, his girlfriend, <laughs> and two of our other female friends. And we were going to go get dinner first. And we went to Buffalo yeah. Wild Wings. Yeah. Uh, we also took his one of our friend's younger brother. Um, yeah, it was a nightmare. It was so a much went travesty wrong. at that restaurant. We haven't even covered this movie yet, but it was a travesty at that restaurant. And we ended up missing the showtime, and we were all just pissy, and we went home, and so me, him, and AJ saw it the following week, yeah. um, in January. There was just so much moodiness that day. There was. That by the time we even left the the restaurant, we were all just like, we don't even want to go see a movie anymore. Yeah. Like, we're just going to go home, and we're just going to not deal with each other. And then I vomited, uh, like... Once oh, an hour yeah. for like eight hours straight after that. I don't know what it was from B Dubs. I love B Dubs. B Dubs is great food. It's the only time it's ever made me vomit out my mouth. But it was great. Um, anyway, so we ended up seeing Tower yeah. Heist, and we already walked in there with those expectations of, all right, we didn't get to see this last week. This had better be a good movie. It was and it great. was. It was great. It's hilarious. Eddie Mur- I don't. Not a huge Ben Stiller fan unless he's in ensemble casts. Yeah. This is a good Ben Stiller movie. Matthew Broderick's hilarious, Eddie Murphy's hilarious, Casey Affleck's great. Eddie Murphy's first movie that wasn't, like, a children's Yeah, film. in a long time. In a long time. Um, that he stars in, and he does great in it. Uh, you get... Ah, I can't think of who else is in this movie, but uh, Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson's in this movie. He does great. Judd Nelson. Uh, it is. It's a Al, Alan Arkin. Huh, not Alan Arkin. Adam Alda is in it. This is a funny movie... It really got underplayed when it was out, mm-hmm. but seriously, it's amazing. Go see it. It is like Ocean's Eleven if those guys had no idea what they were doing. Yeah. On every aspect but, of it. But the one thing that ha- that's, that has happened every time after we saw this movie was he bought it, and so occasionally we'll go, man... We should go watch. We should go watch Tower Heist, and we'll go to. Well, we did go to his apartment, and then, like every time, we'd be like, oh, "No, I want to watch this movie instead." Yeah, I actually have watched Tower Heist since. I have too. I have. I've watched it twice. Um, we haven't watched it together. No, we haven't. It, though we have not. But no, it's a great movie. It's the best movie we saw that came out last year. You need to own it. You do. If you you don't own, own it already. Go out right now and buy it. Seriously, it's the, one of the funniest movies. Even even if we had. Put these seven movies into our top ten. Tower Heist would have made that top ten. Mm-hmm. Tower Heist would have beaten something back and out of that list. That is how good this movie is. It is amazing. Now the kind of movie. We were on a double date, which I don't do that often. Not double dates. Dates in general. I am single, ladies. I oh, don't do that. Yeah, it's creepy. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. Mix, mix that. Anyway. So, anyway. We saw the Muppets on a double date. Oh, so I didn't even know that this was the one that was in here. Which one do you think it was? I didn't know. You didn't know? He didn't know. I didn't remember. Yeah, we saw it, remember? I remember seeing it now that you brought it up. So we saw the Muppets. This was last Thanksgiving, so almost a year ago exactly. Yeah. Um... This, I love this movie. This is a great movie. He's like so in love with the Muppets. I love the Muppets. Not that I'm in love with the Muppets. I enjoy the Muppets. I think they're great. Yeah, Plus, they're I like Jason Siegel. He does. He went because of Jason Siegel. I went because there was a cute girl and the Muppets. Great motivators. 
I got laughed at when I started saying Puppet. rainbow connection. Puppet. We both started saying <laughs> rainbow <laughs> connection. Both of the women looked at us and started making fun of us for singing along with the movie. Rainbow Connection is one of the greatest Muppet songs that was ever created. So if you don't know the words, look them up, sing along. Sing along. Um, but no, this amazing movie, Jason if you like Steven the Muppets, you like the Muppets, this really makes you feel like you're going back to the Muppet movie and the, the, origi- the original Muppet, Muppet Takes movie. Manhattan, yeah. Treasure Island, Christmas Carol, Muppet Caper. It fits right in there so well with those movies. And you're going to laugh and yeah. sing. Jason Segel did a really good job. No, he did. He wrote the movie. He stars in it. He does amazing yeah. with it. Um, He's in love with the Muppets almost as much as Martin. It's true. I like the I like the the what's his name the dog, Wolf. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Why like didn't the you show my story? Yeah, why didn't you show my story? Well, why? Well, we're getting the gang back together. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's a quotable yeah. movie. It's That's good. If you haven't seen the Muppets, once again, what is wrong with you? Mm. You are sl- you are slacking. The last year, the last four movies we've reviewed, like the first four, I kind of understand. In time, man, I'm I, I'm sorry if you saw. Yeah, that. I understand, the, but these last four, if you haven't seen them, you are slacking. You are slacking. You need to go rent them. They're all You're one of those people that only sees like one movie a year, and you picked the wrong. Movie. <laughs> you picked the wrong movie. I know people who like that, who, who only see one movie a year and then go, man, I should have <laughs> seen, seen that one. one. Crap, I gotta wait till next year. But yeah, so that's that's the movies we saw last year. Yeah, There weren't uh, many. There weren't many, there were and like this eight. is really quick rundown of them. Yeah. Uh, then we, have, we saw Lincoln, we're going to hit a review of that one soon. We're going to do, do a single. One. We're going to do a single. Yep. A single review of uh, Lincoln. We're going to catch Red Dawn and Rise of the Guardians this Wednesday, week. right before Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then Hopefully Hitchcock Saturday, hopefully. and we'll throw those three up. We've got the rest of the top ten list, which will be either posted later this week or, or, after, that. or after that. Or next week. Or the following week, so stay tuned. Martin, Zach, we're not at the movies, but we've been to the movies, we go to the movies. And again, he didn't let me say my name. Meh. My name is Zach. I know my name. I can say my name. Apparently, you're not able to let me say my name. Until he was 16. He, he didn't, know, one of those I didn't na- know my name. He wore one of those name tags. said, hi, my name is Zach. Not so other people Mr. knew his Fuji. name. I left, so one of those, I left one of those name Dick. tags at the theater the other day. I wrote, hi, my name is Mr. Fuji. Left it on the seat. You're weird. It was just tape. It was. It was I figured I was tape. bringing a smile to the rest of the Hopefully. to the rest of the rest viewing community. Unless, of course, the cleaning staff just ripped it off and threw it out. They had to at least read it. True, they did have you to read it. You can't look at a piece of tape and not read it. Mm, I took a roll of tape at work, and I wrote on it, uh, I know we just met, and this may sound <laughs> crazy, but here's my number, so call me, maybe. And I, and it got taped to the back of one of the, <laughs> one of the stands. The, uh, the one that I liked was the one on Facebook the other day that said, Hi, I'm Batman, and this is crazy, but you do good as Robin, maybe. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, all anyway. right. So in closing, in closing, <laughs> movies. They will. They're on here. There will be movies later. Yeah. Check and back on the next couple of days because yeah. we'll probably post more. I've got some days off. It's not like I'm doing anything. <laughs> He's doing anything. So I'm Martin. I'm Zach. And this is Martin and Zach at the movies. See you later. Good night. And have a pleasant tomorrow. I gotta go with the you know weekend update closing there, man. Of course. That's, that's